So I'm out here, out in the field, and I thought I might as well shoot a quick video. So I decided to do a 50 facts about me video. So without further ado, let's get started. Fact one, my real name on my birth certificate is Jian Choi. Number two, I am 21 years old. Number three, I was born in June 25th, 1994. Number four, so I was born in New York City in Manhattan. I was raised in New Jersey for most of my life. I lived in New York until I was three and then I moved to New Jersey when I was four. And I am currently living in Japan. I moved to Japan when I was 15. My dad is Korean. He was born and raised in Korea. My mom, she was born and raised in Japan. She's Japanese. And they met because my mom went to university in Korea. So yeah. There. Yes, I am trilingual. I can speak all three languages. Hi, hi. Ah, hi, hi. Japanese. English. I have many siblings. I am actually one of seven kids. I'm the second one. I have an older sister that's one year older than me. I have two younger sisters and three younger brothers. I'm a really sporty person. In America, I was on the volleyball team and I was the captain. And in Japan, I wanted to join volleyball, but they didn't have a volleyball team at my high school, so I decided to join the basketball team. And yeah, that was cool too. And I also enjoy swimming, badminton, ping pong. But that doesn't mean I'm good at it, okay? I just enjoy playing sports. When I was playing uh, basketball, I fractured both of my legs. So yeah, both of my legs, they're still fractured. I don't think they could get fixed because there's like little dents on my bones. But yeah, ever since then, I became a really slow runner. But I could do long distance. When I was a kid, I was playing tag with my cousin and I, it, the tag got really intense. So I like fell like this and my ring finger went all the way like, like it was like a 90 degree angle and when I got an x-ray done a week later you know how there's three bones right here the one in the middle kind of like bam it shrunk and it got really fat it takes a lot for me to cry I don't know what it is like I really envy those people like my mom and my older sister for example like we go to the movies and if there's a sad movie they're gonna start bawling their eyes out but I'm not a big crier. I love roller coasters. I think I'm about 5'3". I'm 160 centimeters and I always wanted to be shorter. I always wanted to be 5 foot tall or 150 centimeters because my older sister is just 150 centimeters. My mom is 149. My dad's pretty short too. All my brothers are short. I'm the only big one. It's, it's kind of, yeah. Like I, I learned to love it now but growing up I hated it. They were like walking past slowly here staring at me, oh my god. But anywho, every time I sniff my nose, I don't know why, I can't sniff it like with a straight face. I always have to go like, I have to scrunch my nose. I thought it was normal until my friends mentioned it. Or I thought it was normal. Do you guys scrunch your nose? I, I thought it was normal. Like, see? Every time someone yawns, I'm so tempted to stick my finger in their mouth. This is like a guilty pleasure of mine, but I love seeing people get scared. <laughs> I have really sloppy handwriting. I don't know if you guys find that surprising or if you guys expected it, but yeah, but yeah, this is my handwriting. Pretty sloppy. But I used to play the piano, which I still love, but my teacher was so scary, that's why I gave up. Yeah, I used to take ballet lessons as well, maybe for like one year when I was like six years old. I love Bugs Beauty! <laughs> Black coffee is my thing. I've had a couple part-time jobs. The first job I had was freshman year of high school and I tutored my cousin, I taught her English. My second part-time job, I used to work at an old person's home. I used to take care of the grandmas there and like feed them, change their diapers. And then I worked at Mr. Donuts and then I worked at a Chinese food place for a while during winter vacation because I wanted to save up for a camera, the camera that I'm using right now. In between, I used to work in factories just like putting things in boxes or taping them. And then now I, I tutor and I also work at a cafe. So yeah, how many was that? I don't know, you guys could do the math. Ever since I cut my side bangs, which was I think middle school, I've always had these side bangs. Last winter, I was trying to grow them out but they look really ugly. I think I'm gonna have side bangs for the rest of my life. I'm studying SNU for one year from, well not really one year, 10 months from March to December. My home university in Japan 
is called Akita International University. This is like one of my biggest flaws, but I am the biggest pushover ever. Even if I have plans, if you say you have a favor and you ask me to do it, then I'll probably like try to squeeze the favors inside my plans or just put my plans aside. Like I am just the biggest pushover. I, I have to overcome that. I think I'm kind of an introvert. Like I'm the type of person that has a few friends and has a really deep relationship with that one friend and having a lot of friends. I love running. When I was in high school, I won second place at a school marathon. Two biggest fears. One, bugs and kidnappers. 80% of my nightmares were about kidnappers. Other 19 is bugs and then 1% like random stuff. When I like a song, I literally listen to the same song maybe like, I don't know, 50 times a day until I get sick of it. And most of the songs that I have on my phone, I'm already sick of them, so please, <laughs> if you guys have a good song to recommend, please comment down below. One time I wanted to prove to my sister that Tooth Fairy existed. I made her put her tooth under her pillow and I took $20 from my mom's wallet and I put it there and yeah, I was like, yeah, she didn't buy the story. Like, I'm not a huge meat eater. I prefer vegetables than meat any day. But chicken used to be my favorite meat. Ever since coming to Korea, I ate so much chicken, like loads of chicken. So ever since then, I learned to teach myself to eat a little bit more beef, pork, and yeah, all that jazz, all the weird meats out there. It's not an exaggeration if I say I'm like the living mosquito feeder. Mosquitoes love me. I don't know why. Maybe it's all the sugar I'm eating. Well, I used to daydream all the time about being Sailor Moon or the Powerpuff Girls, especially the Powerpuff Girls because my older sister, she's one year older and my younger sister, she's one year younger than me and yeah, we used to pretend we're the Powerpuff Girls all the time. But when I was in fifth grade, I used to have this huge crush on this guy in my neighborhood. I used to like always creep up on in front of his garden and like look for four leaf clovers. I ended up not being able to find a clover so I just took two three leaf clovers and took a petal off one of them and like stuck it in my diary. And, okay, the guy's name is Ray, but I was like, oh, I found a four leaf clover at Ray's house. It must be destiny. Yeah. <laughs> I have so many experiences with poop. I've stepped on poop. Bird has pooped on me. Oh, I pooped my pants before because there's so many people in my family. So there's sometimes a huge line to use the bathroom and I was just waiting, waiting for my sister to be done and then I thought it was a fart but then when I checked, yeah. I used to think I was a boy until I was four. Me and my sister, we used to always get matching things. Say my sister got like Sailor Moon flip-flops and I got Power Ranger flip-flops. Whenever my sister bought a Barbie, I always bought the Ken and whenever we played princess or something like that, I was always the prince. When I was going through really hard times in Japan, I would take one of my brothers out on a walk and I would buy them ice cream and I'd make them walk with me around town. <laughs> at night because I knew that they weren't gonna talk back so I just ranted to them. I think he enjoyed the ice cream so it's all good. I used to always wrestle my brothers and it was always one on three and I always won because all I had to do was get a blanket and just put the blanket over them and just lie on top of the blanket and then I like it's like victory but nowadays all my brothers got so big so like I could never beat them in sumo anymore kind of sucks but it's good to see them grow but I used to think I was adopted because one I was a lot taller than everyone else and two I thought I didn't look anything like my siblings but now that I look at pictures I think they all look pretty alike you know how there's like like holes where the doors are supposed to be I used to love crawling on top like crawling up those things right and one time I was I crawled up and then I was like swinging swinging like this and then I went to like 90 degrees and I felt flat on my face and because of my vampire teeth, it ripped my skin here and yeah, I had to get stitches here. That's why if you look closely, this part, there's like a bump here. I, I feel so bad for people who are bothered by this, but every time I walk with somebody, I have to be on the left side. When I'm walking and there's like a rock or like a leaf or like, I don't know, something, I have to kick it where I have to step on it. My nails are really ugly right now, but I like to cut my nails more like squarish instead of round. And for the longest time, this was a pet peeve for my friends in Japan because most Japanese people, they like to cut their nails like round. Every time I go out to eat at a restaurant, I have to finish everything on my plate. I, said I used to always be that weird, annoying kid that always wanted to be unique at everything. When you eat a pizza, you hold it and like all the topping is at the top, right? I used to like to eat it backwards and eat it because I wanted to feel unique and like... This is just how I eat it, okay? But yeah, that was my 50 facts, you guys. <laughs> I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys and you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any video requests or questions, just comment down below. And please give it a thumbs up or a like and share if you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys!